What'd you think of what you got from Edison tonight? Pardon me? Edison, the starter, what you think you got? Well, we got enough. We should have won, I thought. Uh, a couple bad pitches, home runs early on, but outside of that, he battled, shut him down, and we didn't do enough uh, defensively and offensively. Chris, as a player, when you look at these guys, kind of like the Grays, they just seem better than their record. What do they do well in your mind? Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we're kicking ourselves in the ring right now. Uh, just got to play better baseball. That's all there's to it. Phil, after a game like this, uh, this is one that's hard to lose. What do you say to the guys? Do you say anything to them tomorrow before you get ready for game two? They're all hard to lose. And, you know, what these guys do are very well, and the Grays do very well, is they, you let them stay in the game, that you give them a shot to win, you give them hope. You make mistakes, they capitalize on it every time. The, the bad throw by Myers to allow the guy in scoring position, the next guy gets a hit, I mean, you can break this thing, game down all the way. But at the end of the day, you know, I don't have much more to say to these guys. You know, if, they don't, if we're lacking confidence, I don't know why. That's, that's in their head. I mean, you're in first place, you've been there for a while, you've been at the top, show up and play that game. I mean, playing, and I'm not going to disrespect Rockford here, they are a much better team than they were in the first half, much better, better than some of the other teams we've seen and lost to uh, after the break, you know. So that team pitches, throws strikes, gets hits when they need to, plays some decent defense, you know, it's, they play baseball. And uh, what you don't see out of them is they don't burn themselves. Uh, you know, that was us the first half. We're not playing like the same team. We have the same guys, We're not playing like the same team. So. I don't have much more to say. I can only say so much. Words only mean so much. You know, the guys in the clubhouse have to, you know, have to pull their pants up a little bit and say, okay, you know, maybe a little less talk and a little more action in there. Uh, that, that's that's kind of a request for me, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't mind staying positive, being upbeat. I got to show up tomorrow, turn the page because we have a new day, new game. Absolutely. But uh, you know, I, I told these guys in spring training. You know, the one thing I won't accept is mediocrity and you, you know, for lack of better words, pissing on opportunity. And that's what we're doing right now. You know, there's there's no, there's nothing else in, to me right now than us pissing on our opportunities. And it, it's, it, you can go down the line and line up, you can go in the bullpen, you can go in the rotation, defensively, it doesn't matter what it is, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a humbling game, but you can't show up one day, win 13 to five, and lose the next three by one run because you have three errors here, walks, you know, terrible approach at the plate, whatever it is. You know, you have to hold yourself accountable. And, uh, you know, we did a great job the first half, but that doesn't mean anything unless you finish strong. And we got a lot of work to do. We have to play better. Ball hit to JJ tonight where you really had to run it down in the gap. You looked good range-wise. Does he look more comfortable even tonight than he did the first time you rolled him out there? Uh, maybe a hair. I mean, the phone. Remembering right, I think that's like the third or fourth. He's had only three or four balls really hit to him one tonight. Like you said, it was a little tougher read for, for an outfielder. But, uh, you know, I, I think more than anything, he's got the range uh, to make up for maybe some false steps here and there. And I think that's what you saw on that one. But it, it's just going to take time, you know, experience out there, get balls hit different ways off the bat, reading the sound, reading the spin, all that jazz, reading the swing. Uh, but. He's our best option right now, and the best thing about him is he can close ground and make up for mistakes with his speed. Thanks for the time, guys. Thanks.